When you read an article in a magazine or a newspaper about an automobile, you have to wonder where that source material came from. Well, in Subaru's case, they take all of these print journalists to the racetrack and let them have at the car. We looked over their shoulder. Well, it's not every day that the print journalists get a chance to drive the vehicle on the track. And calabogie has been a track that we've been looking at for the past few years. And then they finally put out this beautiful clubhouse and it's all, got all of the state-of-the-art presentation room and everything, so we finally were able to do it for this event. We started working on it and decided three waves. We'd do a French wave the first day, the second day, print journalists, national, and then tomorrow all of the TV programs and a few of the Western and Halifax guys. I think what they've done with the car is just make it that much more drivable. So, I mean, it's got plenty of power. I mean. That amount of power is just all anybody needs, certainly on the street. And, and as we've proven, you can go pretty darn fast with it on the track, too. But I think what they've done is make it more manageable. And they've also upped the ante a bit. They've, uh, for those who can drive the car really fast, they've made it more capable of going faster. But uh, no, you get to drive it that, that extra level harder than you would, you, you know, in, in all due conscience, drive it on the street. And that's, that's value to the, the person who's reading what I write about it. And making mistakes on every second corner, maybe every corner, with, with entries and exits and breaking points and all that sort of thing. The car just never gave any concern whatsoever. It, it's just there for you, you know. It, it, it puts up with your blunders and, and just gets on with the proceedings, you know, very quickly when you get it right. You've got to come to a racetrack and you've got to test the high-performance car somewhere off of the road so we can really crank it open and see exactly what it'll do. So it's a high performance show, a high performance car, so we better be at a high performance facility like we are here at Calibre. We test all kinds of cars and talk about all kinds of cars where they just let us have it for a while, take it to the car, watch, fill it back up full of gas, and that's it. We need to get out and, and do these things and test them. And if we believe in the product, I mean, we're really sort of defeating the purpose if we talk about something that we really don't understand and we've never been behind the wheel of and to do that you've got to be hands-on with it but I mean it's a street legal hot rod and it's a street legal race car that just happens to look really good as well and it's uh, it's just a lot of fun to drive at an affordable price I think to get the same kind of horsepower and the same kind of performance out of vehicles you're gonna pay a whole lot more not with a Subaru I think it's very very well priced and very good value and a whole lot of fun and a whole lot of horsepower it drives and it inspires confidence. And I, was, I was talking to one of the Subaru guys and I said, you know, you could give this car another 50 to 75 horsepower and if it made the car really nervous, most people wouldn't be able to go as fast as they can in, in this one as they could in that one, even with the more power. It's because this car, when you drive it, it inspires confidence. But you can feel it catch itself and you can just lay on it and it goes. Even under braking, the braking is very modulated. The brakes are, are brilliant in this car. And you can put the power down and when you've got the beauty of all-wheel drive, it just it powers out of the corner. You just have to set the diff to your individual tape. Traction control has got two different settings here. It's, it's where it's on and then there is a, a lesser nanny mode, if you will, where it's fairly far advanced where you've got to be going pretty good before you feel it. I didn't feel any need. I didn't feel it was holding me back. And, that, and that's the biggest thing. That's when you want to turn it off is because you think you're smarter than the bunch of O's and ones. Even if I had turned it off, I wouldn't have gotten any faster. So Subaru events are, are ones that you get the freedom to explore the car. You know, a lot of people are brave here in the pit lane. You know, I did this, I do that, 121, 118 here, whatever it happens to be. But when you're actually out sitting in the car, the only person we're trying, you know, uh, to please is ourselves. I think that the way they do it here with the instructors that are really qualified, they know if you're in over your head. They do a good job of getting some of the slower guys out of the way and letting you know what's going on. And they also do a good job with the instructing, you know, helping you. Like even me, I've been doing this 25 years. And one of the guys was telling me a different way of going through the last two corners, which, you know, I tried and, and he was right. And I, I think that Subaru programs in general, especially, the, you know, this is the third or fourth one I've done. They're great the way they, they let you explore the cars to the fullest.握った。やはり
コーナリングスピードを上げて、えー、速さを稼いでいくというのが一番重要だと考えています。We're looking at this vehicle as a performance car, and when we talk about performance, we're really talking about total performance, and that is not just power from the engine and the drivetrain, but also the handling. And ultimately, it's all about having, giving the driver confidence in the ability of the vehicle to handle turns and straightaways in a safe and responsible way. There's a lot of evaluation done into every aspect of the new SDI, including the horsepower, the torque, but we found that really what we wanted to work on was on suspension system. And we've made a number of changes to the vehicle that overall improved the handling of the vehicle, especially in the ability of a vehicle to attack a corner and go through a turn and accelerate aggressively through that. And it's been proven not just on the, um, on the dyno, but also on test track in Nuremberg Ring. Always tested performance cars at a racetrack. It makes so much more sense than the street. First of all, we're all going in the same direction, and second of all, all of the safety that you could ever want is all right at the racetrack. When we come back, we'll take a good hard look at the United States DT Championship. <laughs>